Hi everyone, this is John Dickinson from Motionworks.net, back with another Sapphire tip for you. This time we're going to take a look at the infinite zoom effect. Sapphire Infinite Zoom enables you to create some stunning looks quickly and easily, but when would you use it? Well, while it gives you some great results with footage, such as with this clock, if I just turn it on, you can see instantaneously I have this really interesting look. And if I adjust the zoom level, I can create this really intricate zoom effect. The key to note though is that it works best with footage that has transparency either on the outside or on the inside such as a picture frame. But you're not limited to using footage, I actually like to use shape layers. So what we're going to do is create a look using a shape layer. It's going to delete this layer. and I'm going to add a star by double clicking the star tool. Just turn off the transparency grid here. And I'm going to apply Sapphire Infinite Zoom. Now this is looking a little strange because the star is white, so I need to change the fill to Radial Gradient. So making sure that Gradient Fill is selected, I can just drag this handle and I can adjust that gradient. So now we're seeing a result. So now I can come over to Infinite Zoom and adjust the Shrink Per Level. Just increase that. And we're starting to get this really nice almost 3D look. And if I click and drag the Zoom Center, you can see that's really quite impressive. Shape layers have a replicator, but that's only in 2D. Here with Infinite Zoom, you can get this 3D effect. We can also adjust the twist value, something like this. Just going to zoom in a little bit more here. And of course, once you have this set up, you can go ahead and you can adjust your star. So I can change the amount of points on the star by increasing or decreasing them. I can play with the inner and outer radius. And the roundness. Gives you more of a curved look. I can also add other operators, things like pucker and bloat. It's just outside the viewable area here. And then if I adjust that, I can change the look again. Next, let's try Twist. That's also just outside the viewable area. I'm going to give that a really big value so we get this circular look. Something like that. Now I want to colorize this, so I'm going to use Sapphire's Gradient Radial Effect. I'm going to change inner color to red and outer color to blue and just combine that using the overlay blend mode. So you can see very quickly by combining shape layers with the sapphire infinite zoom effect I can create some really beautiful looks. And as I mentioned, it also works really well with frames. Here I've got another shape layer. I'm just using a couple of rectangles with the Merge Paths operator to create the frame. And I've got Sapphire Infinite Zoom applied, but this time I've created a seamless loop. And the key to create a seamless loop with Infinite Zoom is to make sure that Spiral Strands is set to No Spiral and that Rotate is set to 0. So you can see I've set a keyframe at 0 seconds with a value of 1. And I've set a keyframe at the end of the comp with a value of 5. And that gives me a seamless loop. And you could have it animating slower or faster depending on the value you set for that second keyframe. So that's a really good base. I actually made some adjustments to this by first applying Sapphire Gradient just to colorize it. Then I use Sapphire Posterize just to create some bars. Sapphire Warp Polar to give this a circular look. If I come down, press U twice on the keyboard to see the change parameters, I can adjust some of these settings to change the look. So once again, you have loads of flexibility because shape layers have so many parameters. 
But because I've got this seamless loop set up, that's still in play. So any changes I make are still going to be seamless when I play this back. So as you can see, combining infinite zoom with shape layers can actually give you some great results. So be sure to click on the link above to download a free trial of Sapphire for After Effects and give Infinite Zoom a try yourself. Also follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Sapphire, Continuum, Mocha Pro and all of the Boris FX products. For now, this is John Dickinson from Motionworks.net. Have fun and I'll see you in another tip.